Good evening, everyone. I'm Patricia Martellotti. Beth and CJ are off tonight. We continue our election coverage tonight, and in the city of Santa Barbara, there are three council seats up for a vote. One of the seats with two candidates vying for the position is the second district, which mainly covers the Mesa and parts of the west side. Senior reporter John Palminteri is live, and John, you've spoken to both of them for their views on what's next for Santa Barbara heading into the election. And we are in front of Santa Barbara City Hall and both Mike Jordan and Tara Taylor have some strong opinions about the future of Santa Barbara when it comes to housing affordability and costs, the budget deficit and also revitalizing the economy. And those are the top issues. Santa Barbara City Council race for District 2 has voters on the Mesa, parts of the west side and the waterfront up to Lower State Street. Mike Jordan is the incumbent. He's being challenged by Tara Taylor. Jordan says one of the biggest issues he sees to improve the district is to control unpermitted short-term vacation rentals because of both the housing and financial issues. The uh, management of short-term vacation rentals. We've got a terrible problem in the coastal zone. They're displacing what is traditionally um, either step-up or first-time homeowners that would uh, have availability to housing in the district. And to top that off, about 90% of the six or 700 that are down there are not even permitted nor paying TOT tax. Taylor says she wants to help residents of the district who have specific needs and will bring the community together for these causes. That we can look to those programs and say how can we come together as a community to make sure that our community remains beautiful but that we're supporting each other in that endeavor. For Jordan, traffic safety is an ongoing priority on Las Positas Road and Cliff Drive. Both areas have had issues with speeding cars, conflicts with bike riders sharing the space with pedestrians and vehicles and bad accidents. He says there is a safety plan in the works. Where we'll have a whole bunch of new stop signs, stop lights and uh, separated bike lanes. Santa Barbara has somewhere between a seven and ten million dollar deficit and when it comes to solutions. Anytime you have an issue where you have budgets that are established and then aren't met, it's a matter where somebody is not communicating to each other and not stopping the bar where it needs to be stopped and saying, hey, you know what, we can't proceed with this. And I don't think that continuously raising taxes to offset deficits is the answer. It's really a matter of saying, okay, how are we allocating funds? Where are the places where we're breaking the barriers of our um, budget? To get out of it, I think that's one avenue. To get out of it also is to begin to ask our question, the question uh, to the community on what does the next generation of the city look like in terms of full service or less service mm -hmm. and begin to shrink those expenses down. Both candidates spoke about working within a council even when their positions may differ. My style of communication is when you and I disagree on something, to be frank about it, to, to be very clear, you know, not, not confrontational, not argumentative, but this is where we're starting from. And what we want for the community is this. Mm -hmm. And how can you and I compare our ideas and perspectives and come to a place that's in the best interest for Santa Barbara. I think people appreciate when you bring in a perspective to the discussion or the argument that there's actually work behind that discussion or argument that helps people come along and participate in the answer. The candidates say the residents of the Mesa and the city overall should have hope despite the challenges Santa Barbara is facing. There is a tomorrow coming that's really exciting, really ready to go. I could talk more than 90 seconds on where we are downtown, where we are in the peripheral neighborhoods, and what great things are just lying ahead of us. You know, how, to, how we retain all of this community and culture and work together to ensure that A, it stays great, and yeah. B, the places where we can maybe polish up a little bit, we do. And if you're looking for the unedited, complete version of the interviews we had, the long form version with both of the candidates, we are posting that on our website. And remember, two weeks from today is election day. Reporting live outside of Santa Barbara City Hall this evening, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmenteri.
All right, thank you, Johnny. And for an online voter guide, just go to keyt.com slash your vote. From candidate profiles to all the local races and voter information, your news channel has you covered on election night.